check in, bags down, let's go. Across the road, through linen curtains, into Nakago, into deep healing bowls of sober noodles, the weariness of our travels immediately forgotten. stumble upon an unassuming hole in the wall. The space feels temporary, but it stood here under this railway arch for 65 years. A round of beers and skewers kick off the salary men's night out. Welcome to my heaven, the Japanese convenience store. How could a mass-produced egg salad sandwich be so divine? Custard buns, tuna onigiri, spicy fried chicken, perfect every time. On a hill sits a thin wooden house with a moon. Behind that moon lies an encyclopedia of pigs. You choose your breed and cut for tonkatsu in airy light crispy batter with pillowy rice and fresh clam miso soup. Tuna auction may have moved on, but Tsukiji is still a food lover's dream. Grilled eel, beef stew, sushi from the morning's catch, and my husband, the Tamago King. Familiar faces in an unfamiliar place, putting our trust in them for rounds of hoppy and merriment and a great night out.
on to Kyoto to soy milk donuts and octopus balls, marveling as giant black bowls of burnt miso ramen soak up the last of our sochu hangovers. change of pace, a chance to breathe, to appreciate nature and my favourite meal of the trip. The monks honoured us with their vegan diet, tofu and seasonal wild mountain vegetables, mind-boggling depth of flavour. Thank you. 
wouldn't expect a pizzeria here. How about one that won first prize at the Pizza Olympics in Naples? Japanese chefs truly become masters of their passions. A wise soul implored me to stay for a night on Miyajima Island. Thank you, friend, for this gift of a suggestion. A ryokan dinner with the finest sushi and soy milk hot pot, followed by a rejuvenating onsen bath soak. At night, the streets transform into red lantern lit scenes straight out of Studio Ghibli. The deer are now in charge, I feel. This was unplanned. This was a lot. But I did enjoy the chuckle of each and every passenger as they boarded the pinkest of carriages. An introvert's dream, but a people person's nightmare. The spiciest ramen in a private booth, no human interaction, only pure joy. Thank you.
these riverside stalls are a dying breed. Offal hot pot, a local soul dish, and sake. Plenty of Korean influences in the food here. We're on the west coast, closer to Seoul than Tokyo. Stumbling upon a Christmas market on our last day somehow softens the blow of leaving. It's a reminder that familiar festivities and comforts await us at home. Thank you Japan, you were the best honeymoon and we'll see you again. <laughs>